We gotta figure this out. What do you think? Mm. <gasps> Waffles. Waffles. That's it. That's what we have to make. Let's go. We gotta go to the store. Okay, this is good. I think there's some stuff in this aisle over here. Oh yeah, perfect. We got some syrup. Perfect. Maybe we should get some cereal, you think? Yep, this is good. Alright, I think we're good. Let's go. Never know, we might need some chips. Oh, we got some sand. Oh yeah, this is good. This is gonna taste real good. We'll just whip this up real quick. What do you think? Should we get some of this? I mean, it's not that bad. What is it? Sure. Okay, that's good. I think we're ready. Man, these waffles are looking good so far. Make sure to add some spices and lots of different ingredients so you get that perfect waffle. Okay, so as you see here, we got a good quality waffle maker here. So we got all the different, you know, things. <laughs> we got the we got this different temperature gauge that really helps because it makes the perfect waffle because just so for sure you know what temperature to go with, you know. And so we got this nice handle here so you don't burn yourself. And it's able to close it and shape the waffle how you want it. So let's start off with that. <clears throat> Alright. So as you see here, I'm plugging it in. Always be careful of your surroundings when plugging in a waffle maker. You never know what can happen, right, Tyler? Mm -hmm. Safety first in the kitchen always. As you can see here, the light is showing that it's on. And don't forget to move the temperature so you know what temperature your waffle will be at. Make sure to set the temperature at five to get the perfect waffle. Oh my gosh, perfect waffle. Man, I could just eat this up. Wow, that looks like a good waffle. Hey, that's mine. 